Hi, I'm Richard Vince. I wanted to put out my thoughts on masculinity. So really, I, I suppose this is aimed at um, young boys becoming men. And these are my ideas. I've got seven tips for you. The first one, look at good men around you. Look at men who treat people the way you think people should be treated. Look at people who get respect. Look at people who are pillars of the community. Look at people who are respected by people around them. Look at people who are loved by people around them and think to yourself, what characteristics that, do they have that I could develop for myself? The second thing I want you to think of is creating a self-image that is exactly what it says, a self-image. Now, creating a self-image that impresses other people is n nothing of the kind. It's not really a self-image, it's a impress other people image. I want you to worry less about what other people think of you and worry more about what you think of yourself. I want you to know that you're a good person. I want you to become the person that you've decided you want to be. But this is really important. Create a self-image that's exactly what it says. An image that you have of yourself and it's the one you like, the one you prefer. My third tip, be respectful. Now, I see a lot of respect is earned, not given. I think that's total trop. And respect is something that we give because it's what we want to give. I give respect to people because that's who I am. I don't give respect to a person because of what they've done, the way they are, the way they behave. To me, that's got nothing to do with it. I respect people because I am respectful. And I would suggest you do the same. It's a great way to start. Tip number four, open doors, carry bags for people, give up your seats on buses, trams, cinemas, pubs, where, restaurants, wherever you go. Be nice, be that person who looks out for people who could do with some help. And that's everyone really. Everyone could do with a bit of extra love and kindness in their life. And if you go back to the next one, the, sorry, the last one, the thing about respect, if they don't respect you for it, it doesn't matter. It's you doing what you think is right. So that your self-image is where it wants to be. Tip number five, be protective. Now, if you're a large, strong person, maybe you can be physically protective. Maybe you can you know, shelter people from other people who are trying to do them harm. If you're not big and strong, that's more difficult. I understand that. But you can still be protective of people. You can put an arm around them. You can be supportive. You can say kind things to people. You can protect them in a way that isn't physical. I always think that the world sheds a tear every time a strong person could help someone else and then doesn't. Tip number six, don't be afraid of your emotions. It's okay to cry, it's okay to be upset, it's okay to do all those things that you need to do. Cramming emotions out of the way is a really bad idea. There is a but coming though, you might have guessed that. And the but is, look for humour, look for fun in everything you do. It makes life more fun, it makes life more enjoyable. And if you're always on the lookout for something to make you smile, something to make you chuckle, you will just have a more enjoyable life. Tip number seven, in relationships, be kind, be gentle, be understanding. Strong people don't need to show other people how physically strong they are. You know, if, you're, if you're having to show someone that you're strong all the time, are you strong or are you just pretending to be strong? Are you just trying to convince yourself you're strong? Being strong means not having to show you're strong.